Number 54. Calculate the molar solubility of AGBR in a 0.035 molarity solution of NABR, and they gave us a KSB of 5 times 10 to the negative 13th. Okay, so I have a KSP value here, so I need to know which one is this KSP for, right? Is it for the AGBR or is it for the NABR? Well, generally there's two ways that you can figure this out. KSPs always go with molar solubilities, right? KSP, solubility product, solubility goes with solubility. So this KSP value is for AGBR. The other way that we could have found this out is by using our um, solubility rules, right? Keep in mind that a KSP has to go with somebody who would uh, form a solid in, an, in water, right? In an aqueous solution. Now for NABR, I have sodium here. Sodium is a group one ion. And remember, all group ones are always aqueous, no exceptions. So you won't form a solid here. So now since I know that the KSP is for AGBR, let's just write out that equation. So you always start with your compound. So AGBR, that's the solid. And this will dissociate into its two ions. In this case, it's got to be the silver and it's got to be the bromine right? There's one to one here. Silver is only a plus one charge and bromine, any halide when it's with the metal is going to be the negative one charge. Since they're charges, they're AQ and this equation's already balanced. So I'm good with that. Okay. Now I notice here that I have another solution and we just said that sodium bromide NABR is always going to be aqueous. So when you do have a, and maybe I'll do it over here. If I do have NABR and this is always aqueous, that means that it's going to dissociate 100% into its two ions. And in this case, I have sodium and bromine. Same thing as before, sodium group one plus one, bromine, negative one charge. And those are aqueous as well, if you want to write out the states. But since it dissociates 100% and there's no KSP going along with it, we can use our mole ratios to find out what the molarities are for the two ions. Since everything is a one to one to one relationship, whatever I started with would be the same number for each of these ions. So this would be 0 0.035 molarity, and this would be 0.035 molarity. But the question is, which one of these is going to help me out with this problem? Well, this is a common ion. You always choose the one that has the ion that's the same. So is the cation, the positive charge, the same, or the anion, the negative one? Yeah, it's the bromine. Since we already have 0.035 molarity of bromine, that means that's what I started with. And this would be 0 0.035 molarity. Maybe what I'll do now is since I don't really need this, I'll just bring it down or maybe I'll put it over here. But now technically what we should do is since we have initial amounts, I should do an ice table because if I try to assume here and I can't, well, then the math is going to be a little bit messed up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, oh boy, I'm going to cut right through the word aqueous. <laughs> and let's see, can I fix this? I have to bring this all down. Let's see, there we go. And then I'll bring this down. Beautiful. Now for math purposes, remember solid, nobody cares. So this goes bye-bye. And we didn't start off with any silver. So this is going to be a zero. But since we didn't start off with anything, you could only go up from there plus by some value. I don't know what it is. So plus X and plus X. So now equilibrium, it would be zero plus X. So this is just X. This is 0 0.035 plus X. And these are your two values now that are going to go into your KSP equation. So let's just pull this over because now I want to write 
the specific KSB equation. Remember, the general form is this right here. It's just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So in this case, I have KSB equals the concentration of the two ions. So let's just do that. We got Ag plus times Br minus. KSP is 5 times 10 to the negative 13th. Ag is x, and the Br minus is 0 0.035 plus x. But we're going to now assume. We always assume first, and then if we can't do it, then we have to do the quadratic. But we assume that since this KSP is so low, that means that this change, this increase in some number, is so small that you're not even going to notice, and that the initial is roughly going to be the same as the end, so 0 0.035. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Now let's see what x is, and then we do the 5% rule. We've been doing this a while for this, this chapter, and also we've seen the 5% rule um, in other chapters as well. So nothing new here. So we have x times 0 0.035. Let's just solve for x. Divide on both sides by 0 0.035. Okay, cool. Cross that off. Let's get the number. 5 times 10 to the negative 13th divided by 0 0.035. And I get 1 point, how many sig figs? 2 sig figs. So 1.4. 1 1.4 1 .4 times 10 to the negative 11th. This equals x. Now, let's just make sure. We take the value and we divide it by the initial. So that's 0 0.035 and we times that by 100. If this is 5 or less, that means we assumed correctly and we can keep the x value. So let's see. I'm just going to take this 0 0.0 divide by 0 0.035 times 100. And yeah, I mean, I get 4 times 10 to the negative 8th percent. That's way below 5. So we're good. So I'm just going to erase this. And now we know that the unit here is molarity. So now let's just see, did we answer the question? Well, they said calculate the molar solubility of AGBR. The molar solubility of the compound is always going to be the X value because with AGBR, there's only one in the beginning. So this is like equal to 1x. So your molar solubility is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 11th molarity of the AGBR. And that is the answer. Not bad. What do you think? I really hope this is helping you out. Solubility is not too bad. All right. Thank you so much. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just try to help as many people as we can, many students as we can. So thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.